Hey guys, just want to take you through one of my leg workouts. Um, I always like to start off with hamstrings for a couple reasons. Um, you know, number one is I'm trying to bring them up a lot. So I like to put them first while I have a lot of most, most of my energy. And also it's a good way to warm up your knees. You know, instead of like most guys use the leg extensions to warm up their knees. While well, here, you're working your hamstrings and warm up your knees at the same time. Um, so uh, my first set here, it's, it's a lighter set. And I really like to try to get that squeeze at the top there for a split second. Um, like I do with a lot of my exercises, I go lighter the first first set. Here I'll probably do about 15, 20. And then I'll go heavier on my next set, maybe hit around maybe 12 to 15. Still always trying to get those contractions at the top, but obviously when it starts getting heavier and heavier, it's hard to. So it's more about moving the weight, but still trying to get the contraction. This is actually my heaviest set here, so this will be my third set, and it's really hard to get that contraction at the top like I was earlier, so it's more of just a matter of moving the weight, and I like to incorporate some force reps at the end here. As you can see, I bring up my weight, uh, my body off the, off the pad, and then use momentum to bring it up and control the slow negative. I find this is a great way to get a couple extra reps and then a couple partials at the end just to really fry them up. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to my original starting weight, a light, lighter weight, where I'm getting those uh, quick squeezes at the top there. I like to end off with a lighter weight. I find after going heavy the, the set prior that I can get more of a mind-muscle connection here by going lighter. Uh, so here I'm going to go for, again for about around 15 to 20, as many as I can anyways, roughly around that range, and try to get those squeezes. And again, a little bit of force reps at the end, a couple partials to really fry them out. So after finishing with the lying leg curls, I usually like to go to the seated leg curls. I really like to hit my hamstrings really hard before I go to more quad dominant exercises like squats and leg presses and, and whatnot. Um, so here again, my first lighter set, 15 to 20 reps, getting that really good squeeze. And then after this, I'll raise the weight up, try to hit 12 to 15. And then I'll go my last heavy set, probably hit around 10 to 12. You know, really always try to get those contractions, but obviously it's harder with the heavier stuff. And so I'm just more about moving the weight. And then I'll drop it back down to one lighter set at the end, to 15 to 20, to really get those good squeezes. And then usually after this, I usually go to some kind of squat, back squat or hack squat. Today it's the back squat. Um... I'm only, this is my heavy set for the day. Uh, honestly, guys, you're not going to see me uh, pushing crazy weights with, you know, I have I had some recurring back issues and over the last couple of years, I haven't been able to, to do a lot of squatting. So I've been doing what I can anyways. So this is one of my heavier sets. Uh, I'm trying to hit around 12 reps. Um, usually I'll probably start off with one more heavier set, uh, probably hitting around eight to 10. So I'll probably do four and a quarter. Um, but uh, so then I'll, and then I'll do this set here. Try to hit uh, 10 to 12. So I'm then after this set, I'm going to drop the weight down to three plates and probably hit around 15 reps, uh, if not more. And then even one last set after that, I'll just drop it down to two and really, you know, hit the high reps, maybe, you know, to about 25 to 30 and really gets a lot of blood in there. I love ending, ending my squats with a nice high rep. Uh, uh, high rep squat to get really a lot of blood in there. Then I usually always like to move on to a narrow stance uh, movement, either a narrow stance leg press or narrow stance hack squat. Today we're using the leg press. Yeah, again, guys, not a lot of crazy weight here. I'm just really trying to get good control here. Um, and it's hard to see here, but what I'm actually trying to do is I'm really trying to push through my heels to engage my quads more. But what I'm also doing is I'm also trying to push on the outside of my feet, which I find really uh, hits the outer sweep a lot more. Um, so I'm really concentrating on here, you know. Like I said, you know, I like the high, I like higher reps for legs overall anyways. So, you know, I might maybe even, you know, this is only eight plates. I might go up to 10 maybe, you know, but I like hitting the higher reps, you know, 25, 30. I really find this hits the legs a lot better and I'll do about four sets here. And then we'll go back to down to back to hamstrings. Um, I like to start with them and then, you know, put them out near the end to get a little bit more blood in them. Um, like I said, I'm always trying to bring them up, so I always do three exercises for the hamstrings. Uh, standing leg curls, I really like these a lot. I just feel like it gets puts a lot of emphasis on them. First set here again, lighter, just trying to get that good squeeze contraction. Uh, as you can see, just you know, getting that squeeze at the top. Um, I really like varying up uh, uh, my weights a lot. So then the next couple sets, of course, I'll go heavier, uh, raise it up, less reps. And again, one more heavier. And then the last set again, back down to my original weight, starting weight, and really lighter weight, and really get those good contractions. And this will really fry up the hamstrings really nice. 
And if I didn't really have a lot of back issues, I'd probably do some stiff-legged deadlifts after this. But unfortunately, with my back issues, I don't. And then I like to just go to leg extensions and really fry fry my legs at the end. I like to start off sitting up upright here. As you can see, I find it hits the quads a little bit up higher and chest up. And then at the uh, halfway through my set, I like to lean back on the pad, get my hips up. I find this really gives a good stretch in the quads, hits them a little bit differently, and then I'll finish my set like this. And I'll usually do about four sets here of leg extensions to to end off the uh, to end off my workout uh, the last set uh, I like to do a really good squeeze the top here for one second uh, really for, uh, really try to bring out those uh, styrations and, and and crazy lines in my quads again s s you know sitting upright chest up sitting off the pad uh, for the first half set half of the set reps and then what I'll do is I'll lean back halfway through when it starts fatiguing and I'll, I'll I'll pop my hips off off the off the pad here as you can see and you got to make sure to keep the hips off the pad and I feel like I get a really good stretch make sure you get a really good stretch at the bottom and then basically just finish them off like that and that'll pretty much finish off your quads and then just a little bit of fun a uh, little bit of quad posing after in the locker room uh, just checking it out can't see a lot of crazy details because they're so they're so full of blood, but just uh, just playing around in the locker room and and, and a little bit of flexing here. I uh, really can't wait to to really dial these in and, and in about twelve weeks and just see some crazy lines.